Okay, welcome back, and uh, this is a continuation of the Emotip relay charger, uh, radiant energy uh, relay charger, and I made a quiet version of it. One of the problems with it was the relay was very noisy, and so I've been working on a way to uh, quiet it down. You can put towels around it, put it in a box, isolate it, but I just decided to try to do it a different way, so I'm firing a coil with a 555 timer circuit. It's an integrated circuit and then a one transistor and I've got a, a variable potentiometer for the 555 timer and a 5k potentiometer for the uh, relay I'm sorry for the uh, uh, transistor that's a 2N3055 transistor power transistor and uh, I'll probably post this circuit on the energetic form as a picture if you guys want to go over there and see what it looks like and download it. But uh, what it is, is it's Emotip's original circuit right there, um, just attached to the back end of my um, CFL circuit, my lid motor 555 timer CFL circuit that I came up with to run the CFL. I took the back part here, which is the CFL part of it, took it off, and put in the relay charger part of it. And this is the, the demonstration setup of, this, of the system here and all the different pieces. Uh, at the back there you'll see the CFL and the coil that was used uh, to uh, run the uh, light using the 555 timer circuit. And I've taken that out that's been pulled aside from the circuit and I come off where it would attach onto the relay charger and this is just on the circuit the the attachment point is just the plus and the minus on that uh, where you would put the relay circuit right into the uh, 555 timer circuit it's very simple you just come off of where the coil would have attached and go into the relay and uh, it, it's very interesting. It, it does do what I wanted it to do, but it's different. It's a different way to do this. But let me turn it on. You can hear it. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using the relay, the charge collapse, charge collapse of the coil and the relay to send energy over to a capacitor so I can show it. And that's the, uh, the voltage on the capacitor right now. You see it's reading zero. And I've got it grounded out over here. This is the charge battery that the energy would be going into. And over here, this meter here shows the amp draw out of the source battery. So let me turn this on. And uh, this is just the uh, CFL light circuit that I show in my other videos with the, uh, the mini box, what I call the mini box CFL. Okay, now you hear the relay going there. That's the relay buzzer. Now I can make that real loud. There's a draw on it right now. It's uh, 20 milliamps. If you can't see that, it's 20 milliamps. And I can make this rather loud. And that's what these relays sound like. And uh, I mean, if you wrap it up in a towel, put it in a box, whatever, it's tolerable. And I'll show you what the charge is. Now I'm going to disconnect these wires so it charges up the capacitor. You hear the relay winding up. And there's the charging going on. Okay, now that's that's how it would normally sound. That's how it would normally run. And like I say, if you insulate it and soundproof it, it's not a real problem. But it was a problem for me where I live. My wife does not like that noise. So I had to do something. And I think what I'm doing here is sacrificing some of this charging. But it was necessary. So let me turn this off. Now I'm going to I'm going to discharge the capacitor into the battery here, and that's where the battery um, sits at. Now this will go up uh, slowly, just like uh, any other of these other radiant chargers. I let it run for several hours, and it did make the the charging happen. So I know this does work. Whether it works as good as the other way, I don't know. But uh, you'd need a oscilloscope to see the uh, voltage spikes. Okay, I'm going to ground out the the capacitor. This will go down to zero. Now, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to leave this grounded. 
I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to tune that relay till it doesn't make any noise. And this is with these potentiometers here on the circuit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that potentiometer there and the potentiometer right there, which is the power transistor and then the uh, 555 timer to make that go quiet. Okay, now believe it or not, that is still running. You just can't hear it. I'll put this right up next to it. Maybe you can hear it through the camera. But that's actually running. The, uh, the coil is charging and collapsing, but it makes no noise now. Now, this circuit in here, this 555 timer circuit, is running that relay. And let me show you on the meter what happens when I start to charge the capacitor. I'm going to disconnect this. And there goes the charging. And like I say, this is quiet now. It does charge up. It charges up at about the same rate, as far as I can tell, as the other way. But this way it makes no noise. I'm not relying on the contacts. I'm using the 555 timer circuit to turn on and turn off the coil inside that relay. Now, I'm not using these uh, other contact to make the CFL light work. Uh, I couldn't get that to happen. So that's another issue. But I could use the same circuit to run the CFL. It just wouldn't charge with, uh, with this running like that. But anyway, that's the latest experiment here with the quiet Emotive Relay Charger. Relay Charger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan this so maybe you can see this easier and stop it. Read the circuit. This is the original right here. Some of the guys have complained they can't read these circuits on the uh, YouTube videos, so maybe this will help a little bit. Anyway, that's the latest, latest project for day. Today was to make the quiet relay charger.